Hi, I'm Bella, and welcome back to another tutorial video in the Myriad Cloud Getting Started series. In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up the optional auto importer module to automatically import a file that has been uploaded to Dropbox into a specific media ID on the media wall. For example, you may have a news provider that uploads a new bulletin every hour. You can use this process to automatically import the updated bulletin to be played on your station. So let's get started. You probably already have a Dropbox account, but if not, it is easy to create a new Dropbox account using their website. Simply click on the sign up link and enter your details. You will also need to validate your account by email to activate your Dropbox account. Select the Dropbox plan that suits you best. In this example, we will use the free basic plan. As this is a new account, there will not be any files or folders uploaded. Let's start by creating a new folder called News using the Create Folder button. Once the folder is created, let's drag in a file called News.mp3. This will be uploaded to the folder. Now that we have a Dropbox account that includes the file we want to import, it is time to head back to the Myriad Cloud tab in the Broadcast.radio portal. Click on the Station Management and Security button and then click on the Auto Importer option in the Tools section. Click on the New button on the Importer Groups tab and give your new Importer Group a suitable name. Next, select Import from Dropbox folder option from the drop down list. Click on the Next button to move on to the next stage of the setup process. Ignore the folder location for now, because you first need to log in to Dropbox. Click on the Login to Dropbox button and follow the instructions to connect your Myriad Cloud system to your Dropbox account. Once connected, you can now use the Browse button to select the folder within Dropbox that your file is located in. Remember that Myriad Cloud runs natively on the cloud so there is no access to local folders or drives. This means that instead of importing content from the Dropbox folder on your local computer, you have to configure the system to import from a folder directly on your Dropbox account. In this example, we created a news folder earlier in the video, so let's use that. Click on the Browse button and select the news folder. Click on the Next button to move on to the next stage. This section allows you to set the criteria for the file you want to import. There are more advanced options available, but in this case, we know the file is called news.mp3, so we can simply type news.mp3 into the file name section. Click Next to continue. Next, you can set the type of audio file being imported for example, songs, jingles etc., as well as what category it is in and whether Myriad Cloud can consider it for scheduling. In this example, we will select News Item, which means it will be displayed in the News Item area of the library. Click Next to continue. Finally, you need to set where on the media wall the file should be imported to. You can import into the next empty space in the range for the media type, like News, Set a specific media ID or import into the next empty slot in a range of media ID. In this example, we are importing a news file, so we would want to always import into the same media ID, so that we can schedule that media ID to be played every hour. In this example, we will import the audio file into media ID 9001. Click on the Create Import Group button to complete the process and create the import group. Here you can see all the settings for the import group we just created. If we close this tab, we can also see the import group is included in the list of available groups. Let's take a look and see if the news.mp3 file has been imported into the system. Switch to the media management module using the Myriad Cloud drop-down option or the Manage Media button on the dashboard. In the Media section, click on the Media Grid option and then jump to the media ID you are interested in, 
9001 in this case. Here we can see the news file has been imported to the correct media ID on the media wall. Now let's see what happens when the file is updated in Dropbox. Here you can see the last time that the file was imported into Myriad Cloud. I will manually update the file in Dropbox and check to see that Myriad Cloud will import the updated file. Myriad Cloud checks every few minutes, and if the audio file in the import group has changed, it will import the new file into the target media ID. You can use auto-importing for lots of different things including automated news and weather ingest, program contribution and syndicated shows. Now you know how to set up automatic file importing from Dropbox. You can set up multiple auto-importer groups to import different content. In addition to Dropbox, you can also set up groups to import from web locations or HTTP URLs, FTP servers and OneDrive accounts. You can also set up importer groups that will automatically download the latest episode from a podcast RSS feed. The basic principle is the same for all of these options with the only difference being the source location and credentials. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials and help articles, visit our help portal using the link below or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting.